is gonna be incredible, you know. I'm here in my granddaughter's school, uh, School of Technology and Arts. They have an incredible intersection in the two areas. You guys are gonna see state-of-the-art equipment and everything. And today we're gonna be playing the How Many Lives documentary, which I directed and I produced the entire mural project with an incredible team right here from Jersey City. Um, Catherine Hart, Maya, Brooke is the one putting the whole thing together. There's a whole team behind. Um, and we're gonna be having a talk about art, the intersection of art, film, and social cause. Watch out, do the art of this is coming to town. <laughs> you know, I work with, I do research on gun violence and, and looking at mass shootings and campus shootings and um, shootings in the inner city. Uh, I've done a lot of experience and some some work working with the courts. I'm trying to work on gun violence prevention to stop, you know, the use of the misuse of guns and and stop all the deaths. Like we've seen just from the rise, even even during COVID, we saw there was a rise of gun violence, uh, more deaths. I think the deaths are over 20,000 people have died under the hands of guns, of misuse of young guns, right? And we need to um, stop this. And this is an opportunity for us to have a conversation. Right, and show people um, the impacts of guns and what it has on the community, right? And the people that it hurts, right? The victims, not only the people that, the victims of gun violence, but the people, their families, right? It's and about, the community yes, is involved, it's about, right? It's about families. Yeah. When families pay the price, the children pay the price, the community pays the price. So education is a way yeah. to do things. And, and, and art is a tremendous tool to reopen people's minds to perhaps a difficult issue then society has not digested. So exactly. we're here today and it's going to be amazing. Let's go to the door now, yeah. guys. This is where I did the podcast. They made announcements. They prepared the class. I have a 23 year old. It was really cool. I'll, I'll send you guys. I'll send you guys. To, now that you guys came here, I'm going to send each one of you the, the link for the podcast. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm back.
they are amazing equipment and the students so engaged. So I was like, I'm gonna come back and have another talk with the students and, and connect. Because our students like that you can see uh, open, reopen doors to to to, to dialogue. And, and and sometimes people are set on their ways and, and this is to others right here. This is not to me about political party, this is about lives. So students at arts, you find beauty. Um, I was just wondering like when this was made. A lot of the anti-gun ones say don't blame the guns, blame the shooters. I think people should care enough to prevent more people from dying. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If you didn't get an opportunity to grab lunch, I'll give you lunch now, huh? Thank you. Here, come here. I want to thank you guys first of all. That was amazing. And it was all you guys let me play. You. This documentary is too heavy and intense, but it's necessary. And, and this school like this, all that come forward. And this school like and this school, and this, <laughs> this school like this, you know, is is wonderful. The technology and the art and the, the power we we send into you guys, your generation. So don't take for granted and make that meaningful. You know, so I thank you. These teachers are amazing. I came to amazing. visit here the school before, and 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 the energy, the students engagement. I was just felt in love. So I am in a fantastic school. Come on, my man. Uh, how are you? My name is Rudy. Most of you guys don't know me, but the camera does not. My first time actually speaking into your documentary, and I'm honored. I'm honored to be here today in front of some beautiful people, and as he said, uh, working for something positive. The reason why I'm here today, uh, I really do not know. Most of you guys know me for, unfortunately, the wrong reasons. However, um, to the grace of God, um, I've gotten to work on some very things that I'm very passionate about, which is gun violence. Um, I've been to prison over gun violence and changed my life. And I just want to give back as much to the community as much as I can. I know I never will, and I can probably be with Duda for the rest of my life, and I know I will never begin to repay. However, I got to try to do my part. Hey, my name is Focus Figueroa, I'm a supervisor of instruction here at County Prep High School, it's part of the Hudson County Schools of Technology. We're very grateful for the Jersey City Theater Center and the Hudson County Arts for bringing this experience to our students. So we appreciate you coming and we hope we'll do it again next year. Oh. Jersey City Theater Center, executive <laughs> producer, Olga Lumina. In closing, let me ask, how you feel, Soraya? Your grandpa is here, you know, with you in your cool school, say something. <laughs> It's pretty cool, it's interesting having you engage with students my age and my friends and I think it's cool how they come up to me afterwards, they're like, oh my god, that's your grandfather, I'm like, yes, like, <laughs> yeah. yes, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's my younger boy, yes, <laughs> thank you so much, I appreciate it.